Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest version of Shimiji available as always from Kilkacon.com. Head on over to Kilkacon.com slash Shimiji and click the download now button. You'll get this latest version for your very own. But what's new in this particular version? Well, let's show you. Behold, a splash screen. This is something that can be configured by artists and, uh, you know, showing any relevant information such as hotspots or anything else like that. I'll uh, show you how this is configured in a moment. But let's show you some of the other features that are available. So, for instance, if we head over here into the settings area, you can see that there's this new opacity slider that we can use to make the Shimiji semi-transparent. Let's, let's give that a go now. As you can see, this dude is... Well, you could see through him now, can't you? Let's also have a look at some of the other features that are available. So we can now also have the theme editor be visible inside the Shimiji. As you can see, the uh, all these options were there before, but now you can you can mess around with it as you please. Uh, you know, right here, right now. So we can we can do a little bit of that. Why not? Bit of fun. As you can see, this is now applied, and if we so wish, we can reset that back to default, like so. Excellent. You can also go into the windowed mode and there's a new ability now to specify an image. And you can also set how you would like this image to be stretched in the windowed mode as well. So this gives you a bit more flexibility if you want to use it, for example, as like, um, you know, like a little play pen for your Shimiji. Give this a try, see what you think. It's time to move on to the next features that are available. And this is something that won't be there by default. The artist will have to implement it for you. However, there is now the ability to, to toggle individual behaviors from being turned, uh, from being used by the Shimiji. So if we just turn this off, this will now no longer be in the right click menu here and it won't be run automatically by default. It will also interact with hotspots properly in that if it is run through a hotspot, the Shimiji will just fall from the sky as you would expect. Uh, and of course, if it's a hotspot that itself would run that, then it would just not work. But that is that. So if you're a regular user who doesn't go about uh, manipulating the XML files behind to see what's going on, this is the extent of the new things. But I hope that you will enjoy the new opacity slider and some of the other features. But if you're an artist, well, you should keep watching because there's more to learn. Let's first learn about... Uh, Sure, we can reload this. Um, let's first learn about the info.xml file. So this introduces a few new features which can be done. So the first is the, is the name, the preview image, and the splash image. So if we head over to the, uh, where is it? Into here, you can see that there is the splash image here. And you can see the preview image as well. So what this can do is, well, if you specify these things here, the splash image is what causes that pop-up to be uh, presented. And these other fields here will be shown if they're filled in. Now, as you can see here, you don't have to necessarily include both things. You can have the name or the URL as well. Uh, the name is required to be shown, of course. And if you just skip out on one, then it just won't be shown in that little pop-up as you saw earlier. Now, by default, you'll only see this pop-up once per time you run your Shimiji. And it will be put into here as a Shimiji you've already seen. So information dismissed this field here. So be sure to clear that if, you've, um, if you're wanting to send it to users. But otherwise, that's how this works. The preview image and the name are used in the Shimiji chooser. So if we just head over here uh, to choose Shimiji, you could see the informative Shimiji has the custom icon and a custom name. So that's what that's used for there. Otherwise, there's been a bunch of additional improvements to some of the actions available for developers. So uh, a number have been deprecated. So broadcast, broadcast jumps, broadcast move and broadcast stay are now deprecated um, because I've just moved that functionality to the regular versions of those actions. So they're always available. Um, in fact, I might as well just show you the change log I'm reading out. So you can see here, they're always available. Um, the uh, unless it's a drag res resistance or scan variance, those won't won't do it, but everyone else will. Um, in the same vein, the move with turn has been deprecated because I've now added the ability for the regular move to have the turn animation instead. So let's quickly show that. That I believe is in here. 
Yeah, so you can see here I've added this is turn property. So if that's there, that will be used as the turning animation for when a Shimiji is looking this direction, but wants to go over here, they'll turn around before moving. So I always like that effect myself. So now you can have access to it in addition to scanning at the same time, if that's something you're wanting to do. Um, and last but not least, of course, is some of these new actions here. So we have the long ranged scan interact. So if I duplicate this person, actually let's, let's use the settings, shall we, to increase the opacity back to full. Of course, now it wants me to reload. Excellent. Um, so let's summon another one of these. Excellent. So we can now do some broadcasting here. This person's curious. And this person, let's have them face the wrong way. And then we'll get them to do the hunt. Notice how they turn and then shoot some love. And then both of them are startled. Oh, that's the long range broadcast action here. So, well, rather the long range interact, scan interact. It's a new action. So let's just show that briefly over here. So I will make these templates available for you on my Patreon, by the way, for free. So feel free to have a look at those if you want to download them. But I just want to talk you through while I have your attention. So with the scan interact, you can see that you, um, you specify the affordance as usual, the behavior for the uh, yourself to execute should the scan complete, and then the target behavior for the target to change to should the behavior complete and the target behavior flag is optional. You may also notice this new target look, and that's to apply this turning animation that we saw as well. So I've applied the turn as well to this new action. Last but not least, we have some new properties available in your, um, in your conditions. Uh, variables is the better word. So if you use the conditions to do custom behavior, you'll find these things useful. So the jump will now have the target X and Y coordinates exposed, as well as the current velocity and uh, in both directions. You'll also have the velocity exposed in full and in scan move and scan jump, you'll have the target um, attributes. I believe it's actually lowercase. So just double check that if you're, if you're giving this a try. Um, and of course in scan jump, you'll also have the velocity exposed as well. So that will allow you to do things like having a different frame being used when your character's flying up versus flying down, all that sort of thing. So it's been a bit technical. And of course, the last thing I should cover is this toggleable flag. So I've actually just applied that here. You'll need to put this on any fl uh, on any actions that you don't want to have, um, or that you, know, you want to have the user have the ability to toggle. By default, nothing can be. You've got to put this on there to make it work. But once you have, it'll then appear in this right click menu like here. So, yeah, good to know. And of course, everything of all these new settings ends up in here. So any actions that are disabled will appear in this list. And so again, if you're going to release it and you want to make sure these things are on by default, make sure to clear those out. Nonetheless, though, that does wrap it all up. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the new version and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.